hope you've been thinking how's they're doing. And a lot of my fellow nationalist YouTubers, Irish nationalist YouTubers, have talked about this and have said it. That, you know, I said it before, uh, way back before the Cold of Fire started, that we have the effect more or less than any other country in Europe. Uh, the same as our uh, friends over in the United Kingdom, we had the advantage um, to stop the coronavirus, obviously because we're on island, you know, you can only get in two ways, unless you fall from the sky, whichever one, Um, but yeah, we had the advantage, and we didn't take the advantage, and that's and that's what we suffered, obviously open borders, Um, you know, that really killed, like that just goes to show you with this coronavirus, you know, how much it caused havoc because there was no checks and anything like you could walk in and i said to them one of my friends you could walk in from china like the first two cases that were in ireland i remember you could just nearly walk in the dublin airport and nobody would pat an eyelid you could be coming from china no we would pat an eyelid um you know and there was nothing said and there was nothing done about it and when they were asked the leo Franco and the chief medical officer why would we waste the money on it to have checks at the airports and you look in china at least they have checks at least they're not letting any foreigners in at the moment in time um, but any photos that are going in, like there's a few press going in, obviously, um, and you know they're being checked to keep the Hilda King to come, and they're not being let in unless they everything's okay. They're not, and they're going to be sent home if they have the virus. Um, and you know that's weird the right way, um, because our um, you know again shot itself in the foot. Like we had the advantage, the same as our England, um, we didn't take it. We should our government only for it's an EU policy, uh, open borders. You know, you know letting all this letting all this crack happen. Um, you know, at least the England, you know, was, you know, they were talking beforehand, you know, but how strict borders, um, the UK was talking about, and which was, you know, which would have been a good policy to implement. And my hair keeps standing up for me. But, um, you know, it kind of shot us in the foot. Like, we, we didn't have that big, um, you know, we're not like Poland or anything, that, that it's in the middle of Europe, who has German, the German border and loads of other borders to protect and obviously control. Um, you know, we had the advantage. We just had our ports and our airports to control. Um, the border with Northern Ireland, you know, that wasn't a big, it wasn't a big ask. Um, but I know people, a lot of people might not agree with me, but, you know, we did have the advantage, but we lost that advantage. And we, you know, took, we basically just ignored it. And our government just basically ignored it. They have to admit, you know, that the, it would have been the best cause of action just to close the ports, close the airports. Um, that's what I would have done. No matter, no matter if Buster's got tick with me, uh, or you know, or, or find Darlin for it, I would have said, you know, it's for the best interest of the country. Um, you know, I would have done that. I would have said, no, no, um, you know, passenger pla like only cargo planes allowed in Ireland, only cargo ships allowed in Ireland, no passenger liners or you know cruise ships or anything like that. And um, the first time, you know, the for even the first case coming to Ireland, you know, I would have said close all the ports immediately. Um, even though buses could have got taken and stood in the head, you know, I would have said, you know, the people come first. Um, but the fact obviously didn't do that. Um, and still is allowing people in, uh, to this country. Obviously, you know, there's a few coming back from, you know, to help out, and obviously we appreciate that, and obviously they are right. Um, I'm not talking about, you know, like, you know, planes that are coming from less affected countries. Um, I'm just talking about the countries, you know, like, for a while, those planes coming from China into Ireland. Um, and there was nothing said about it for the first few weeks of it. The first few weeks, months of this coronavirus, planes coming in non stop to from China, nothing was said about it. Nobody, nobody had a lie there to it. Um, you know, open open doors policy is just it's not it doesn't work. It really just doesn't work. Like you, as you can see, it just doesn't work. Um, and you know, Liam Parker should learn from his mistakes, or maybe the what did not learn from the mistakes, whichever they suit them, I suppose. Um, but it was. It really just you know we had the advantage we actually had the advantage and i know i know it's, we can blame everybody we can afterwards like i know people be saying you know you're picking straws at this moment of time um and that's true i'm picking straws because you know we had the advantage and that was the t-shirt you know, at the time if this was me you know i would have just closed the ports and just refused to let anybody into the country and it would have been, it would have been a very dra you know very drastic measure but i think drastic it would have saved a lot of lives and it would have saved a lot of suffering you know, and just letting, you know, close enough out into the world for a while. Um, and obviously, the economy would take a huge hit, but, you know, I would have done that just to save people's lives. Um, but, yeah, we can only hope. You know, maybe things would have turned out worse if we'd done that, but... I don't know. Like, th these are the questions we ponder, you know, when... Like, we could have done that. We could have done that. It could have probably helped us a lot. Um... But you know, they still have the airports open and you know still planes coming in from other countries and 
No, it's mad. Like, I don't... Like, in Canada, like, the people in Canada coming back from Canada, that's okay, because Canada obviously knows what they're doing. They'll check before they're going out. Because that's what they do in Canada. They check the people before they go out and go into the country. Which is the proper way. Which is the proper way. Um, if it was done here, you know, we would have contained it very quickly. Um, but, no, we didn't. We decided just to let everybody walk into the airports and do what they wanted to. Like, if we at least had checks on the airports and the ports, you know, we would have been half as bad now. We wouldn't have... We would have had half the cases half the cases and we would have been able to control it a lot more better and we would have built more time up um, but you know we didn't do anything we just you know, let everything happen um, you know we picked straw like I will you know go into full detail about this when everything's over when everything's you know when now this crisis is over and emergency's over you know I will you know really call out the government on this I really will just go mad at them for it um, especially you know without the suffering for families like so many families have suffered on this island because of you know we could have took action but we didn't um and that's so you know that's something we have to really live with now that you know people be saying you know why do we not close our borders we're an island if we could have closed the ports and the airports and closed the border with northern ireland it would have been simple you know but apparently simple things can't go to the government of ireland and um, but yeah i just i just thought i'd just say that because it's just, it's just on my mind, if you know what I'm saying. I just thought it would feel better just to say it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe more and take care and bye.